Yeah, Divine Intervention was the first record I did. And uh, I think there's some people out there that are a little confused who was the drummer on uh, Undisputed Attitude, but that was me. Did I need to prove myself on Divine Intervention? Absolutely, I felt I did. I mean, I was a Slayer fan too, you know. I still am, but I'm in the band. There was this tremendous legacy already built up. And I knew, as a fan, um, the standard that had been set, uh, especially by Dave Lombardo. And I knew that. And I, and I, man, if you sit down as a drummer of this band for the first time and you feel like you have nothing to prove, you know, you're wrong. And I, and I absolutely had something to prove because I think every Slayer fan was like, man, is this, is this guy going to suck? You know what I mean? And even myself as a fan, you know, I remember when Iron Maiden lost Nico, uh, not Nico McBrain, but Clive Burr. And I'm, I'm a huge Iron Maiden fan. And, you know, when, when Peace of Mind first came out, you know, when I first heard Where Eagles Dare, you know, the, the intro to that, I was like, hell yeah, Nico rules, you know, the band's going to be okay. So as a fan, like, I know how that feels. <laughs> When I joined Slayer, I had to learn like a lot of their old material. Um, so the question I guess you're asking is, uh, did I like get any influence from the older songs that I played? Um, yeah, I did. I wasn't born with the same style, you know, uh, as Dave. Um, I had my own style. But that being said, the sound of this band uh, was a decade, a decade thick. So that sound had been ingrained in people, and I knew it when I joined the band that you had to give them something that they were familiar with. So yeah, there's some stuff that that I that I intentionally like, kind of what I would call signature Dave stuff that kind of stuck with me from some of the news, from some of the older material we had played up up until the recording that we did when we did Divine Intervention. Then when we were writing the material, I'm like, man, this just sounds like this kind of feel, and it, 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 I couldn't even tell you what song it would have came from. It just, I'm like, this was from a song that we played on tour, and I'm like, it would sound so good right here, and it's, it's a familiar sound, or a, more or less what I'd like to say, a familiar phrasing. And the phrasing is the most important part. You know, it's where, it's where things are put in a song uh, when, when it comes down to the formula of a band that creates the familiarity of, of, of part of the familiarity of the sound other than the song, and so I feel that's a really important thing, and so yes, I did that. The band's ability to never compromise, uh, not just the ability, but the uh, willpower to never compromise. Because in the music industry, there's always some, there's, you're always getting this temptation. Everybody always wants you. Yeah, you're this close. Like you've got this many records sold. Like when we did Divine Intervention, the, the, I know the, I know I was sitting in con in conversations with the band where where like the record company wanted to do something that's just a little more commercial because Metallica had just did a Black album um, and. Um, you know, Megadeth had, had done a record previous to ours as well. Um, so, but, but it was like, you know, and, that, and I always liken it to going one or two directions. You can go right, and that's the more accessible route, or go left and just be heavy. And we, there's no, no question in anybody's mind, we didn't want to go the accessible route. We just wanted to be Slayer, keep it heavy. <laughs> What's my favorite song that I didn't record on? That's actually not an odd question. Because, let's face it, I mean, I was, a, I was a freaking Slayer fan before I joined the band, so there was tons of songs I loved from Slayer. And I, look, I could go, let me just, let me just say, let me, let me think, um, Behind the Crooked Cross is one of my favorite, and Ghost of War was another one of my favorites. And that being said, there's so many other ones, but I mentioned Behind the Crooked Cross because the band's never played it with me, and I've always wanted to play that song with them, and I love that song. <laughs> 